<laughs> Why is Scarlet still OP? Anyways, welcome everyone to the first tier list of 2020 for Brawlhalla. Patch 3.55, we got new skins, we got a new map, and much more. Quick side note, sorry for the lack of videos. I have tons of juicy, juicy stuff incoming, but they take time. And the will to actually do them, which I have neither of. Anyways, and that Yumiko skin actually looks pretty cool. So they're trying out new stuff with Canon. I don't, not a, not a, all I'll just say is I'm not a fan of it. Like visually, it makes sense. But besides the mere visuals of it, not a fan at all. But I will not be really getting into that until it's actually like implemented into the game. But I'll just say, not a fan. Makes Canon too strong. But balance. Or like we like to call balance in Brawlhalla, imagination. So unarmed was nerfed. I guess they're just trying to really make having a weapon more important in the game. I guess I'll be on board with the unarmed nerf. Um, it actually helps me as a blasters main because you know unarmed getting into blasters is a ju is juicy juicy for un unarmed at times. But I'm okay with that I guess. But the gauntlets buff is kind of like a Kind of, is, that's actually really, really confusing. Um, I don't, un I thought gauntlets were right where they needed to be. And by the way, this video, I'm trying to make it under 10 minutes, or 10 minutes or less. Uh, last time I tried to do that with the tier list, I almost got made it 10 minutes or less. So it was only an hour, you know, but you know, give or take, that's basically 10 minutes. Regardless, I'm trying to make this video short. Okay, back to gauntlets. Gauntlets, I kind of taken aback. Okay, I'm not kind of, I'm very taken aback on why they buffed gauntlets. I thought it was just as irritating as it should have been previously. Like, it's still irritating, but they're gauntlets, so... I thought they were where they needed to be. So they, but they buffed it, and I don't understand why. And we've already had some, uh, lots of good, like, t amounts of time in, in Brawlhalla where gauntlets were really overpowered. So I don't know why we're buffing it again, but that's kind of... Don't understand, but... That doesn't make sense. But Hammer was not was nerfed, which is like a holy prayer from the heavens. But it was not... I don't think it was nerfed significantly enough. I feel like it should have been nerfed more. And they increased Hammer's Sare. I don't know why they did that. That the Hammer Sare Sun. Like, I don't know. I don't... I, this, I don't... I don't under, like, I, this makes sense. Because... Hammer is the high, the fourth highest win, uh, winningest, has the fourth highest win rate in Diamond. So you can say, oh, it's only the fourth highest. Look at the play rate. Jesus. Everyone's playing Hammer because it's so easy to use. I'm going to say Hammer is like, there's like a new trend in Brawlhalla where there's p weapons that don't require much skill, like Axe, Lance, and Hammer. They get the most wins and they don't get nerfed. For some reason, can we can you load to platinum, please? Thank you. So, your hammer is one of the highest win rate weapons in the game. It's gonna patch 3.54, which was the previous patch. If it loads, hammer had the second highest win rate. the The play rate was extreme was the was extremely high. Thir Scythe is always extremely high because you know Sandstorm popularized Scythe so much. Hammer has extremely high win rate and play rate, which is not... I, I feel like Hammer really needs a significant nerf. You'd think it shouldn't be a top-level weapon, considering it's a slow, heavy-hitting weapon. But apparently in this game, we, we like slow, heavy-hitting weapons for some reason to be top tier. But anywho, and don't give me the... Oh my god, on the professional level, like, only Kosselix plays Lance. Like... The main player base of Brawlhalla aren't the pros. Like, I don't really care what the pro the if they don't play Lance on on the pro level, it affects us 99.99 percent of the, the actual player base. So don't give me like, oh my god, Lance isn't on. Oh, just, just stop, okay? Anywho, um, yeah, Hammer should be nerfed more. Wasn't kind of surprising. So I should be being more objective. This is, but uh, tier list is all about opinions. But you, if you, 
if you want objectivity, then just read the t read this yourself and make your own opinions. But you asked for mine, and now you regret it. Sword. Look at that shaft. Oh, anyways, a uh, sword slightly buffed, which is, I think, good. Blaster's recovery. Honestly, I saw this coming. I'm not happy about it because I'm a blaster's mate. Okay, don't get on me like, eh, it was overpowered. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm biased. I'm a blaster's mate. Not a fan of this, but I saw it coming. This is kind of irrelevant. Orb, I'm so glad they're starting to realize how Orb is a bit overtuned. But then they start increasing stun. Doesn't make sense. But... Okay, at least they nerfed it. And then Artemis is starting, is getting, they're really trying to fix Artemis Lance side sig. Like, they figure, like, they finally realize, okay, people hate this signature. Oh my god, we're already five minutes in. We need to buff it. People, they're, they're figuring it out. So Artemis, big buff. Bodvar had a neutral signature on sword buff, which was, I mean, less, had less recover, has less recovery time now. I mean, that's, I think that signature hits pretty hard, so this was unnecessary, but it happened. Caspian signatures are pretty bad, so he got a few, got some buffy buffs with that. Major buffs for Cross. His signatures already kill extremely early, and I even I know Cross is still a, is a bad legend still, or I mean Cross is a bad legend, but I'm kind of surprised they increased the, the damage his signatures do because they still they already kill extremely early. So I'm kind of this is a bit surprising, but okay. Ember, uh, what does this even mean? Oh, okay, more force for Ember Downsig. Okay, that's good. Try to fix Isaiah Downsig for blasters. Oh, that was for Bow Downsig, by the way. You can read because you're illiterate. Um, Caius, they're trying to fix Caius. Like this is a trend. There's been a trend where they're trying to fix Caius Spear Side Sig and uh, Artemis Lance Side Sig because they're like far-reaching signatures. So they're trying to fix that a bit. And then Petra, minor little fixies. The stoop. Okay, now we're getting into the really stupid stuff. Scarlet's overpowered. Scarlet Downsig was overpowered. So let's, let's we're BMG, okay? Hey. Hey, y'all, BMG here. So we have an overpowered legend, and her Downsig is arguably overpowered on Lance. So to fix this, we're gonna buff that signature even more. Don't know what they're doing there. He has low, this is, uh, once again, don't know what we're doing. They increase the travel speed on a low dex legend. Jesus Christ. I don't know why they did that. They increased the travel speed on a legend with low, a slow legend with low dexterity. But once again, we're increasing, we're buffing low dex legends. And that's fine. I don't know what this means. I don't understand Vector Downsake yet. I just look at his face and I get depression because I hate it. And there are lots of little Volkov changes to figure, like, there lots of little changes you would expect from a new legend. Increasing damage on the side axe. Um, and you can read the rest. This, this is really just adjusting some stuff. I'm not going to get too into it. Because people aren't using, there are lots of Volkov users for some reason. But I don't feel like anyone's using him effectively just yet. So, time to get to the actual tier list. Just I'll let you have a quick peek at who's actually the most the most winningness, <laughs> winningness legends in the game right now. Before I get people pooping on wise queen, what? Oh my god. Uh, why? Oh jeez. What is even happening in diamond anymore? Like, like there's a trend where like low skill legends are like high. Why? Like, why does why does this game support like having low skill? Like, why are all the low skill legends like really high up in the ranks? I mean, I, I realize I just made, like, so many people potentially mad, but... Anyways, yeah, for winning this, Olgrim and Scarlet has been pretty much the meta and Platinum. So, it's like, yeah, not much has changed in terms of who's winning. So, let's get into the tier list and try to make up... Oh my god, I said this tier list would be 10 minutes long, and it's not. It's already 10 minutes, almost been 10 minutes. Okay, Scarlet is OP. I, I, by the way, this tier list is going to be super brief. So I don't know if I'm gonna have timestamps, but I'll just, I need to. When you cut these, make these tier lists shorter. And last tier list was so in depth. Last few tier lists have been so in depth, and like the raw, like raw legends and stuff. Not much has like changed. 
except like you know the wait no these and that doesn't change too much so if you want like a raw in-depth analysis of signatures and stats and like kill options like then go to my last pass view tier list go to the timestamps in the comments that took me like 40 minutes to do but i did it for you the viewer so you should uh, do that okay so this will be brief scarlet is op she takes no skill that we use easy everything's a kill ko option from her like it doesn't matter how good her signatures are even though she has some very good signatures few overpowered signatures um her light attacks are kill options which is not okay and they buffed her down sig on lance even though that's a very unpopular signature due to a uh, cost like spamming it in a t in, in tournaments they buffed that signature and it's the most idiotic thing ever mordex i say is still op but kabir or k doty oh, i just said my secret identity k doty but 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 why, but gauntlets have been sucky lately What you said wasn't true. Gauntlets have been fine, but now they're not fine. They're overpowered. Or, we'll see, overtuned at the very, at best. I mean, at worst, but they're overtuned, overpowered. Mordex is overpowered again. That's just gonna be, that's peachy. That's peachy, fine goodness. Because we, we support that. Fade is S tier, still very good. Mirage, I need to learn Scythe, because Mirage, I feel, I don't, I don't Mirage might be nerfed. Is, like I say that every patch, I'm like in every patch I'm in fear of Mirage being nerfed. Not because she's overpowered, just because she's very very good. Um, sh but there's just people don't really use her because when you want Scythe, you can just go Mordex and Fate, and not people actually just main Spear, which I kind of do. Heh, heh, heh. Try to zoom in on Ada for comedic effect, but now it's ruined. Um. So, yeah, not many people realize how good Mirage is, but Mirage is a very good legend with very good stats. It's just her signatures can be... If you're not... If you don't really love the concept of a down signature that stand, that covers where you're standing, she's kind of tough to kill with at times. Is that true? Our signatures can be kind of tricky at times, but overall, a very good legend, and I hope she does not get nerfed. I need to learn how to play Scythe before. She does... But I feel like she might. But Orion is still lots of range on his signatures. Great stats. It's he's basically just the same old, same old. Like not much is cha is changing so far, except now Mordex is undoubtedly in the OP. Um Yumiko is getting really irritating to go against because Hammer is so strong. So actually but people are realizing how little um, fin like, you really think, you'd think bow would be a really, like, finesse-worthy a, a weapon to use, but people are getting really, like, tactical, like, I've noticed, this is because, like, this is just a trend where Yumiko players, they spam the blue sprites more and more often, because it's, like, a whole, I don't know, it's just, like, a whole thing now, for, like, trick, like, messing up, up, up opponents' approach options, I hope that makes sense, if it doesn't, it's too bad, no, I'm kidding, um, Oh no, Yumiko's are really making it hard for people to approach them with their the blue sprites. And it's, it's just working quite well. I must give them credit. It's irritating as heck. But it's working quite well. And Hammer is very, very strong still. So I might actually just keep Yumiko in A tier. I might change my mind in the course of this video. Core actually is in A tier because Hammer is so strong. Gauntlets were buffed. Put him over Yumiko. Actually, Yumiko would be in B tier because her signatures are slow. Um, Core is... Gauntlets are really good. Hammer is really, really good. I mean, I, I don't understand the gauntlets buff. Uh, Rayman is actually going to be in A tier because gauntlets were buffed. Even though the signatures are pretty bad, I might put Rayman in A tier. Uh, I don't know. We'll ah, But his stats are good. The signatures are on gauntlets are atrocious, but his stats are good. Oh, tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, Petra is in A tier, because she was always a good legend, but now that gauntlets are buffed, that's a mighty fine time for her. Volkov, this is a tricky one, because he's a new legend, lots of people are using Volkov, his stats already make him at least B tier, but I'm not sure about the signatures, 
I did notice, I don't know if they covered this, that one signature recovers way too quickly. I believe it was Axe Down signature. No, they didn't fix it. A few signatures are hard to punish, but I might just keep him in A tier. and We'll just keep him in A tier for now. His stats are kind of gross, so I might put him in... Ah! Yikesers. Yikesers. Ah, uh, man, this is hot this is actually a really tough one. This A tier is looking really, like, this would actually be like a trash A tier. I have Rayman in A tier, are you kidding me? I might put Volkov in B tier, just, for, uh, we'll see how the list pans out. But he, I've, A tier, B tier. Ada, I was just going to order at this point. Ada is honestly D tier. F tier. No, um, I don't, I know Ada, like, is my main, but matchups she has the, I think, yeah, I'm probably saying this because she's my main, but I, f I still contest that Ada has the worst matchups problems in, in the game due to ha blasters and um spear kind of accomplishing the same thing, because she's very squishy, and she's squishy, but doesn't deal to really that much damage when like come on look like at Scarlet, Fate, Mirage, who are like. Just as squishy, if not, I mean, like Scarlet, Fate, Barrage, Petra, who are just as squishy, if not ha less squishy, and do more attack. So she's and and they move around the stage just fine. So she has a tough time. We might even put her in D tier, but she has some sing. Ah man, we'll put touch. She's gonna be low C tier. I almost got a Petra. Ada struggles with matchups, signatures, or she doesn't do what she's really meant to do, truly. So I, I want some more Ada buffs, but you know, people who whine about Ada 6 spamming kind of jacked her up. Lucian is, a, is just, he's solid, you know. We'll give him a B tier, because he's solid and he has the same good solid signatures. Hammer is super strong, so we're going to get Bodvar up in there. Unnecessary buff of the sort. Neutral signature. Asuri is... Ah, Katar. My god. Katar is so... I just... We'll put her in A tier because she, she always has the good signatures. And it's just like a pattern of opinion where you put her. Hot take. Cassidy is... We will... See, the... Cassidy's problem, she has great signatures, okay? Her signatures are phenomenal. Her stats, she's squishy and slow. You can't have both, but her signatures are so good. So I'm actually going to put her at the top of B tier and say she's arguably the best Blasters legend in the game right now. Man, that's a hot take. Especially considering the Blasters recovery nerf. Zol is high B tier because he hit... You know how Axe is strong and Cannon is Cannon. Uh, Bryn is B tier. No, no, B Bryn is A tier because she's, she's solid, great signatures, great stats. Sidra is always tricky, but we'll put her in B. Oh my God, B tier is loaded. We're gonna have to bump people down because she's just I don't know, you know what to expect from Sidra. Queen Nye is gonna go up to D tier because it's just a playstyle. It's just a matchup and playstyle on how well you can punish against a Queen Nye. But when a Queen Nye gets a few reads on you, your stock is gone. So I think it's just a playstyle thing. Nash is, believe it or not, B tier because of. Actually, we'll put you down here. Nash is B tier because Hammer is super strong. Thor is utterly overpowered and probably the best legend in the game. He's unapproachable. Orb is still super strong. His hammer is godly. Like, you can't, you literally just can't approach a good Thor's hammer. You just can't do it. You see this on every level of Brawlhalla play. Fix Thor. He's overpowered. Like, God. Why aren't we fixing Thor? Um, Vector is still, is, we'll put him at C tier. Not a lot of, seeing a lot of use. Not a lot of skilled Vectors going around. I don't think his signatures is, he has some good, really good bow signatures. But, land signatures, it's just a matchup per matchup. It varies, I suppose. Taros is for some reason being buffed, and that's kind of idiotic. 
But, so we'll, we'll put him in C tier. Don't understand the side sig buff. Axe is strong. Hammer is strong. It doesn't make sense why a character like Taros is not in F tier. But whatever. Sir Roland. Um, Lance is irritating as heck. But, he is not a good legend. Um, Cross is for some reason being actually going to... I'm actually going to put him in B tier. Because I'm this is gonna be my gamble because just because his signatures kill so early now I'm actually gonna put him in so, make him a solid B tier legend because I'm taking a gamble that his, his signatures are gonna be killing way too early and you're gonna see some more crosses even on the professional level potentially that's my gamble that's my hot take for this list okay this whole list is a hot take Lance Axe Olgrim okay Hatori is. She's just not explosive enough anymore. Like, legends like Ada and Hattori were used to be very, very good, or just aren't anymore, but they're just not... They're not quick enough. They don't hit hard. I mean, I guess they're quick. They're, they're, their signatures don't go off as fast enough. They don't hit as hard enough. Sin nerfs in the past due to people whining like idiots have really significantly decreased their value. They just, they just don't cut it anymore, and they need some buffs to keep up, except I'm getting repeated nerfs, uh, Kaya is, has still, I still support Kaya stats 100%, and we're gonna see more, um, nothing, she's just not, she doesn't do enough damage, but I still think Kaya is a solid legend, all in all, Dusk is just, so, his spear signatures are kind of trashy, but he's just solid, you know, Bereza, Nothing, he's not a great legend inherently, but you know, Axe is still strong for an ab stupid, absurd reason. So it makes up for his lack, like his signatures that could be seen as pretty poor. Lin Fei, we're gonna put her just above Ada. Um, I don't even know what to say. Cannon, that's all you gotta say. Ember above Ada. Hey, geez, Ada, I'm really hating on Ada today. Um, some reliable Katara signatures are not as fast as they should be for considering how she's supposed to be kind of a glass cannon. Katara signatures not don't aren't very quick, aren't too quick. I, I, if you're in silver, don't call, don't say, oh my god, her guitar signatures are so fast. If you're a silver player, please just don't. It'll save me so much time, or it'll save people in the comments so much time. I don't really care what you say. Um, some very good bow signatures. Besides that, down say, but. It was buffed, so hey, that's kind of good. Jala is. We're gonna put you here. Actually, Ayo. Kill options are very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jala is. Axe, good. Sword, slightly buffed, but sword is solid. If you can get. Actually, Jala's just basically just, she's just a solid legend. If you can get over the lack of, um, I mean, her being a glass cannon, the lack of defense, you're usually, you're usually chilling with, with Jala, you know? Um, Nyx, killing with Nyx blasters is, is her great downfall, unless you're going to use your NSIG tactics, but it's more like nine, and her Nyx NSIG tactics with blasters did I say gauntlets earlier? Uh, whatever. With blasters, it's more not even like a trick anymore. It's more like a crutch. Not even a crutch. It's more like this is what you have to do. So Nyx, we're going to keep you here. I mean, it kind of keeps you back. But you have Scythe. And you have solid stats. Some pretty solid signatures. You're solid. Koji is still... He's just solid. And he's, not, he's not exploding out into... The, here just yet. Thatch is has terrible stats, but actually good signatures. But stats are too bad. Artemis is here. Like I'm, we're having some hot takes here, guys. I'm gonna we'll see. I'm gonna say the side signature for Lance. We'll see, we'll just go out on a whim and put her and put Artemis there. Jiro is guard. Jiro has scythe, but his stats are just so bad, I'm actually gonna put him there. Like, his stats are just so bad. Like, they're, like, unbelievable. Like, you, Jiro's stats are just garbage, you know? And you don't really want a, a soft-hitting, a super soft-hitting scythe legend, or a sword legend with lat luster sig. You're sure. So, Jiro is trash. 
Jiro is the worst legend in Brawlhalla. But very fun to use, so I will still use it. Um, uh, Hammer is strong, so we put you here. That's really all that's to it. Diana! By, as a, the person, the legend that keeps me from Diamond, not because I play against her, because I play terribly as her, because I cannot... Diana I, is my, I say this every video, but I always play good as Diana. I just can't kill with her. That's my win rate with Diana is so atrociously bad. But I just can't kill with Diana as a blaster is made. It just, and the recovery nerf does not help. So, my Miss Diana, your, your best stats in the game, arguably, but your signatures do not kill in neutral. They just, they just don't do it. So we put you there. Uh, but I'm kind of bad at the game, so we're actually going to put you here. But I'm just bad at the game. They're probably more, they're definitely more successful Diana mains than me. It's just she just struggles to kill a neutral, and it's a very big problem. Raxi boy is, it's got that lance, so, and very, and good signatures. That's what, that's kind of, oh my god, like this tier, like this tier should not be like, like, you shouldn't be seeing slow legends like this up in here, but Brawlhalla is falling apart. No, it's just, it's just unfortunate. Hammer and Axe are just both too strong right now. That's why this tier list looks so irregular right now. It just looks really irregular. I don't think we found the happy balance between hard hitting and good. I don't know. We haven't found the happy balance between like, I don't know. We just haven't had, a, we haven't found a happy balance between legends being hard hitting but not too oppressively quick. I don't know. Something like that. But we, we're just, we just, we need some changes, okay? Legends that are too slow and hit too hard or recovering too quickly and have too much to defense, when legends that are designed just to be glass cannons don't hit as hard, have no, it's just, I, I don't know if that made any sense, but we need some, Rahala still needs some, has some kinks to work out, we'll just say that. Val is always just a quality of life choice. Gauntlets were buffed, though, so we gotta put my girl Val up in the A tier, because you got the, you got the signatures, you know? It's a side signature on gauntlets. No, all signatures are solid, if not good. Some are more niche than others, but solid, if not good. Val, putting her up in A tier. Wu Shang and Val are always buddies in every tier list. Um, I feel like people are using, like, utilizing sword more than spear at this moment. So even though Wu Shang still has that annoying, some annoying signatures, we're gonna give it to Val. Azoth is actually people are actually playing Azoth effectively, so he's actually in C tier. And because Axe is still so strong, and Bo, as I realized, Bo, you get a few combos with a high uh, strength legend with Bo, and it's really hard to to keep up and yeah Ragnar is just always an explosive fiery boy we'll put him at the top of C tier Axe is still strong signatures are good Caspian is actually trying to migrate out of D tier and we'll give it to him we'll put him in C low C tier because of the signature buffs Isaiah is still not inherently a good legend but we'll put him at the like his signatures are still bad it's just now people are realizing, hey, those stats aren't so bad. Like the stats aren't really aren't that bad. So people are realizing that more and more. It's just if you can if you can find a way to kill with Isaiah's signatures, you're chilling. Zarya Gauntlet's buff. Oh, I can't put Zarya. That stinks. Zarya should be a D tier legend, but the Gauntlet's buff puts him in C tier. Should I put him above Ada? We are going to because she's not explosive anymore. Um, this is a really ugly, horrible looking tier list, but I can't. Gauntlet, when, a, when one weapon is buffed unnecessarily, like gauntlets, this is what happens to the whole tier list. Like, everything's out of whack. And a tier list, sh it should, like, it should not look like this. But it does. It looks really, un like, this is a really uncomfortable tier list to look at. I am not gonna lie. Like, I look at this and I kind of, like, cringe on the inside. And, like, I'm questioning my, like, Am I doing life correctly? But I can't be... I can't bring myself to change anything because everything is... Oh! 
we can change that. I don't know. Like, Yumiko's tricky, man. I think Yumiko means it's just a, I think Yumiko's just a play style thing. We'll put her in the seats here. But yeah, the, like, it's good to revel so many legends in seats here, but for like all the wrong reasons. Like, there's, there's, there's two little, like, hammer needs to be nerfed more, gauntlets needs to be, what the heck, why did we nerf gauntlets? Or probably is going to need more nerfs. And there's like things, little things here and there. Stop buffing uh, slow legends. It's stupid. But yeah, this is the tier list. I kind of ran out of energy at the end of the, or halfway through beyond because I'm dehydrated and I can't be bothered to get water. Just like Brawlhalla can't be bothered to fix balance in this game and do what it needs to be done. But it's fine. <laughs> do what needs to be done. That sounds so dark. Do what needs to be done. Exterminate all Lance players. But you didn't hear me say that. Or did you? Um. So yeah, this is the tier list. We didn't make it an hour long, which is progress. Or I didn't make it an hour long. You guys didn't do anything. Just sat there and watch me suffer. Or <laughs> any or listen to me suffer. Anyways, no. Um. This is yeah. This is the tier list. I don't really can't bring myself to change much. Actually, we're gonna. Put Azoth in D tier. Oh uh, my lordy. Yeah, we put Azoth in D tier. Put Isaiah above Azoth because of stats. I'll just be a risky boy and put Caspi in there. I, I think the. Uh, he was buffed, so we'll just put him there. Lin Flay. Oh my lordy. Oh my lordy. This is such a weird tier list. Yikes. Should I move Olgrim? I'm, I'm looking at moving Olgrim a bit. Yeah, this is a weird tier list, but I think it's the best we can do right now. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this tier list. I hope it helps. Um, yeah, it's really a off. It's an off-putting tier list. Let's put you here. Stats. Stats are important. Stats are very important. Diana has amazing stats. Um, yeah. Oh, you don't. Trish change. We're gonna do some checkups here. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think we did it. I think this is it, Chief. So yeah, new tier list, new opinions. This is a pretty hot take tier list. I am not going to lie. I will not kid you. This is a hot take tier list. Let's fix some things right now. Um, Lots of blasters in C tier. Wow. No blasters in A tier. Um, interesting. Anyways, yeah, this is a tier list. Hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for your continued support towards my humble, tiny little channel. And I hope everyone uh, does not main Lance or Hammer because they need both need nerfs. And why the heck has Thor not been nerfed? Jeez.